The main water source at Sendwao homes, businesses, and crops come along rivers, which supplies at least 97% of running water. Other sources include rainfall and evapotranspiration, which is basically where water from the ground evaporates back up into the clouds. So, how does this turn into this? Let's take a look at how it's treated. It happens in three parts, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Water is collected in a tank at the treatment facility. Sedimentation is where water sits undisturbed in this tank. Solid particles like rocks and clay from the water sink to the bottom to separate them. Some particles are too small to be removed here, so it needs to be filtered. Gravity then pulls the water down through layers of sand where oversized particles in the water can't pass through leaving what's left of the water to be disinfected. The water is then treated with chemicals like chlorine to kill biological toxins. These are disinfection standards that are up to par with the measures set by the World Health Organization. Some countries even use fluoride, which supposedly improves dental health for the public. So, what's wrong with drinking your tap water? In 2018, the Water, Land and Natural Resources Minister Xavier Jarakumar said that it was 100% safe to drink water directly from the tap and that he himself drank tap water. In terms of tap water, it's treated with chlorine. The bacteria inside have already been killed. The thing is, our water itself is clean, but the pipes aren't. To get into our homes and businesses, the water has to go through the water pipe system. A lot of these pipes are old, dirty, and rusty, and the water traveling through them gets contaminated with iron. Although some chlorine and iron content is safe to drink, the taste might not be too pleasant to some. If let's say like, you want to drink it directly, you also have to be aware like check the water colour first and then smell and try a little bit to taste whether any different or weird taste before you drink the whole cup. If you are going to drink it though, you should probably leave it out at room temperature to let the chlorine evaporate. But then we, we don't know how much the chlorine contains inside and then how much time it takes to evaporate the chlorine also. The fastest way is direct for it. Boiling the water also kills off whatever pathogens was collected from the pipes and any clean water filter would be the next best option. So, can you drink water straight from the tap? Well, you could, but you're gonna have to fulfill all these things first. Your house is near a treatment plant and the water pipes are only a few years old. Your house is less than 10 years old with no corroded pipes. The pipes are not made from cast iron. There are no repairs or upgrading projects by the water service provider. There are no leaks in the pipes. Your house is not close to agricultural areas as it may contain pesticides or fertilizers which are harmful organic material. If you can't fulfill all these criteria or you're not sure, just don't drink from the tap because we don't have a system as meticulous as Singapore's. In fact, the Singapore government actually encourages households to drink the water straight from the tap without using filtration devices like water filters and purifiers. This is because Singapore's National Water Agency, known as PUB, allocates a lot of their resources into managing, testing and monitoring the water quality that's distributed to consumers there. Building managers must even submit annual inspection and disinfection reports of their rooftop tanks to the PUB, and the PUB may even take water samples to spot check. This is similar in Japan too. So back to Malaysia's pipes. What if you think you're smart and manage to skip all these pipes and get your water straight from the source with your own clean pipes? Well, this restaurant in Hulu Langat did exactly that. They were found illegally tapping water from Shabas for their business, as well as for the hostel housing their restaurant's workers. They were slapped with a water bill and fine of almost 180,000 ringgit. 